How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and everything relating to the MCU. And today I have a really special video, a two-part video collaboration with The Canadian Lad. The Canadian Lad is an awesome YouTuber who watches videos at 0.25 speed and breaks them down, finding things that nobody else on the internet is talking about right now. And we're going to be answering the question, why didn't Doctor Strange revive Tony Stark in Avengers Endgame? Again, it's a two-part video, so be sure to head over to the Canadian Lad after you finish this video. Now, this is a big question that everybody has been asking since Avengers Endgame. Why didn't Doctor Strange revive Tony Stark? There were plenty of ways to do it, especially with all of the Infinity Stones literally on Tony's body. Especially with Captain Marvel there, who would have been more than capable of handling another snap. Well, here are three very compelling reasons why Doctor Strange never revived Tony Stark. Reason number one, in Infinity War, when the Scarlet Witch destroyed the Mind Stone along with Vision, a massive explosion set out. The entire surrounding environment was shook. It even knocked back Thanos. Well, once Thanos got close to where Vision was and reversed time, he managed to bring back both the Mind Stone and Vision back from the dead. However, he also brought back that explosion, meaning bringing someone back to life using the time stone also affects the surroundings. Something similar could happen to Tony if time were to be reversed, and since the last thing that he did while he was alive was to decimate Thanos' army, if Doctor Strange tried to bring Tony back, he could also possibly be risking bringing Thanos and his army back in the process. And Thanos is an extremely intellectual being and a savage when it comes to combat. He could have quickly turned and fought to get the stones back if he had come back to life. This is a risk that Strange no doubt could have thought of and could have possibly saw in one of his 14 million different scenarios when he went forward in time because we know for a fact that he went forward this far in time. Now say that Doctor Strange was perhaps not going to just use the Time Stone but use all of the Infinity Stones to bring Tony back. Well that brings us to reason number two why Doctor Strange didn't revive Tony Stark. The Infinity Gauntlet and or Nano Gauntlet can't actually bring anyone back to life that died. Now of course your first thought will be, but Hulk snapped and brought back the half of the universe that was snapped, so it can bring people back to life, right? Well, there is a technicality here. A technicality that the Russo brothers, the directors of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, slightly hinted at, and that is, the people who were snapped were never technically dead. They were technically wiped away from existence, or as Thanos put it in Infinity War, they ceased to exist. With all six stones, I could simply snap my fingers. They would all cease to exist, and I call that mercy. The Russo brothers in an interview after Avengers Infinity War stated that Thanos didn't technically kill anyone, he wiped them away from existence, and they kind of hinted at the possibility of everybody that was snapped being in Soul World, but that really never came to fruition in Avengers Endgame. However, they did say that Thanos technically didn't kill anyone. He wiped them away from existence. Now, this is very, very particular phrasing. Perhaps death and being wiped from existence are two very different things in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The MCU's metaphysical reality has not yet been established, but if there's any kind of an afterlife, the Infinity Gauntlet may not have power over it. Because remember, the Infinity Gauntlet in the movies is not the same as the Infinity Gauntlet in the comics. In the comics, Thanos could snap as many times as he wanted to without getting even a little bit hurt. In the movie, when Thanos snaps the first time, it destroys nearly half of his body, and when he snaps again, it almost kills him. Much different from the comics. Even Nebula in the comics could snap and not get hurt. And in the movies, the Russo brothers said that in order to use the Gauntlet's powers, you had to close your fist. This is demonstrated on the Titan scene when Doctor Strange tells his cloak, don't let him close his fist, so Thanos couldn't use the Gauntlet. Don't let him close his fist. The point is, is that the gauntlet in the movies is very different from the gauntlet in the comics and may not have the power to bring people back from the dead who are in the afterlife completely. Perhaps this is also why the Hulk couldn't bring Nat back in Avengers Endgame even though, as he said, he tried to. Perhaps it had nothing to do with her being the sacrifice for the Soul Stone, but more with the fact that the gauntlet just doesn't have that power since she was actually dead from a fall and not from the stones. The same could be said about Vision and Quicksilver. Why didn't they come back? Why wasn't the gauntlet and the stones used to bring them back? Well, the gauntlet may not have that power, and perhaps that's why Strange couldn't use the stones to bring Tony back. 
The third answer to why Tony Stark was not revived in Avengers Endgame is a very interesting answer. And the answer is that Tony Stark had to die and Doctor Strange knew it. Now Doctor Strange knew that Tony had to snap and he knew that he would die in the process. But once Tony snapped and Thanos and his army and the threats were gone, why didn't he bring it back after? What's the threat? Well the threat could have actually been Tony himself. Remember, this is the guy that created the Iron Legion. Tony made the Iron Legion just because he entered a portal in the first Avengers film and had a glimpse of the threats that the Earth might someday have to face. His PTSD from the first Avengers film resulted with him creating hundreds of other Iron Man bots. And then he built Ultron. Tony Stark literally ended up creating Ultron just because of a vision that the Scarlet Witch made him see. Or should I say, Scarlet Witch was the one who realized, I don't have to plant any ideas on his head because his own desperate measures will bring destruction upon this world. Now, imagine if Tony survived the snap and realized that he wasn't being paranoid and that the Earth actually does need a defense system much like Ultron. What would he end up doing this time around? If only his PTSD can cause him to create the Iron Legion and Ultron, then what repercussions do you think would gray from his experience from the final battle of Avengers Endgame? Had Tony survived, he would basically have every right to say, I told you so to the Avengers, which would only boost his already massive ego. Couple that with the mountain of vibranium from Wakanda, since they had opened up five or six years prior to Endgame, and the access he had to the six Infinity Stones, and you start to see why it might be a good idea to let the man die and sacrifice. And this could have very well been one of the futures that Doctor Strange saw in which Tony Stark again brought about the destruction himself. Again, there are probably many ways that they could have brought Tony back. The Time Stone itself, all of the Infinity Stones, and Doctor Strange is the master of the mystic arts. He probably could have figured out a way, but in the end, he knew that Tony Stark had to die and therefore could not revive him. I hope you all enjoyed this theory that me and the Canadian lad came up with together. Be sure to go over to his channel and check out his part of the video. As I mentioned, this is a collaboration video and I'll have you know that he is one of my favorite YouTubers. Like I said, he is making videos that nobody else on YouTube is taking the time to do and his breakdowns are absolutely insane. He watches movies like Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, The Justice League at 0.25 speed and finds a ton of different hidden little easter eggs and little details that everybody else on YouTube is missing. I wish my breakdowns were as good as his and we both plan to bring you some more breathtaking content in the future. So be sure to go over and subscribe to his channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought about this theory. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest content. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.